doesn't go in Corsair. What? Greetings, welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube thing. Today we have a modern PC kind of thing because um, we are going to take a look at the um, Corsair CPU Temp 50 degrees Celsius IQ Elite LCD Upgrade Kit IPS. IQ. It's a um, long name for a simple LCD that goes into your uh, current AIO, I'm joking. It is just the IQ Elite LCD Upgrade Kit because I have an AIO from uh, Corsair. I have a Capelix, uh, Capelix something. I'll put the name down here because I don't remember. Capelix something, the best AIO in the world. So uh, yeah, we are going to do a, uh, as always, quick uh, unboxing and uh, then we are going to install this into my Capelix something because, uh, well, I am using the... Um, stock, um, let's call it faceplates, that came um, with a cooler that you put on the pump, you put them on the pump, we have um, one that is black, transparent black thing, and one that is white, but uh, sure, I'm using the white version, because uh, I guess I'm using the white, that's the only reason, so um, PC themes, so yeah, let's unbox this guy, Take a look at uh, some specs and stuff, and then let's put it to work. Before that, this video is brought to you by Switch Technology Lisboa. If you want great prices, for example, in the new Ryzen 7000 series or the RTX 4000, you gotta go to Switch Technology in Lisboa. Please let them know you are coming from the channel, and uh, check the link in the description for more information. As usual, let's quickly read some stuff. It is the um, LCD accessory kit for the Elite Capelix AIO CPU coolers. I have one of those. On the side, um, it, it says that I'm a uh, Corsair Chill. On the other side, it says the same thing, but uh, we have the uh, CPU fan running at uh, 1835 uh, RPMs. And on the back we have some more uh, extra info, again the IQ Elite LCD Upgrade uh, Kit, sure. It is a custom 2.1 inches IPS LCD screen, sporting, sporting, or supporting, I don't know, sporting uh, 480 pixels, resolution display, it is crisp, bright images, GIFs or GIFs, is it GIFs or GIFs, I don't know man, let me know in the comment section below, maybe I'll do a poll. On, uh, on YouTube, you tell me, GIF or GIF, but whatever, or system information on your AIO cooler. Here we have some possibilities, the monitor option, there goes the CPU fan, the single bar, sure, CPU temperature and stuff, the fade fuel, I don't know what is this, maybe it changes, I don't know, and then your custom images, maybe I can put a uh, Deckard Games logo in there, I don't know. Let's uh, open this thing, because that's what we do when we have a box to open, you open it. Here we have a QR code, maybe for the manual, I don't know, yeah, it is the manual, there you go. The little guy reading something, we open this and, uh, well, I guess this is it, this is the uh, LCD display, as you can see, with some wires, a... Uh, this is just a sensor for the RPM, USB, and uh, this plugs into the, the hub. And here we have a uh, USB splitter, a Y cable, because uh, why not? Ah, we have a uh, six head screwdriver and we have some screws. So uh, sure, do we have any manual? I believe we do. Nope, safety and warranty information. So uh, we have no manual whatsoever. So yeah, I guess uh, we are going to use that, uh, where is it? There it is, that uh, QR code to check how to install this, so just stay there. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Ooh, this connects to the pump itself, that's cool. So it has a disclaimer, 
it is important to upgrade your um, AIO firmware to the latest version because, well, the AIO, uh, the AIO exists before this. So, uh, yeah, if you want to use something like this, do not forget to upgrade the firmware first. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look at the manual and uh, we are going to put this into place. So here we have my um, machine. I had to remove the um, GPU because it's vertical and it is too freaking big. So it's out, which gives me the opportunity to uh, clean some stuff. And I also have an RGB cable here that is crapping out because I believe it is not fully plugged in. Let me just uh, turn the power supply off. So in the manual says, but for that I really didn't need the manual because I changed the, the plates. We got to remove the uh, original one with this little uh, ex exit head. I don't know, man. It's a six head screw thingy. So yeah, we are going to remove it. This is not magnetic, so uh, I think I will resort to the uh, I fix it. I fix it toolkit because uh, switch technology. So there you go. All screws are off. Again, one faceplate is black. This one is uh, white because again, PC themes, I have a white and black thing going on. So uh, yeah, the next thing is to remove this. So uh, we got to unplug some cables. So uh, yeah. So cables are disconnected. The um, USB thingy that goes into the um, commander car and the signal from the uh, pump fan and uh, well, Corsair says just to pull on this, which uh, I don't feel very confident about it. But oh, there you go. Huh. Easy enough. So <laughs> yeah, comes off. And uh, you better hold on to this. So sure. Next thing is to put those uh, four tiny screws that came with the uh, AIO kit in those uh, holes in there. Because well, this one is deeper, so I suppose it is to get some volume in there. So there you are. As you can see, the screws aren't doing anything. It's just that this new one is way deeper than this. So uh, I guess those screws will uh, hold in there, making this uh, in place, something like that, or holding it in place. So, uh, sure, let's uh, remove this thing and uh, I suppose you just uh, put it in there. What the crap? Is this it? Doesn't go in, Corsair. What? I'm putting it there, but it's it's banging against the uh, bracket on the CPU, but uh, well, this is a terrible design. Holy crap. Seriously? This doesn't go in. Ah, oh, man. So there you go. As you can see, it is in place, but this is nothing. Like Corsair says in their manual, where you can just push the other thing or pull the other thing out and put this one. No, because it bangs against the uh, brackets that uh, hold the... Uh, well, it's already coming off, as you can see. Ah, oh, man. What a stupid design. Ah. Ah. Well, there it is. But uh, I honestly gotta say that installation is a real pain in the ass, but um, again, it's nothing like the manual. Nothing like the explanation that Corsair gives you. Oh, it's so easy, no? I had to remove everything out, because again, this thing goes against the, the bracket that holds the AIO pump in place, and uh, I just had to remove it. I only did it, or made it, at the third try, something like that. Because this thing come continue to uh, pop out, but uh, well, it is in there. So uh, now we gotta plug cables. Ah man! So uh, yeah, let's plug some cables.
And so here we are with the um, Corsair IQ Elite LCD upgrade kit <laughs> installed. And uh, now we can see some numbers. Because, well, I already have a monitor screen inside my machine with all the metrics and stuff. So it's kind of redundant. But uh, now we can put some pictures and uh, animations and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I think it looks cool. So uh, let's get in closer. Oh, and by the way, before we get in closer, I really appreciate how the ring, although you can set it to any color you want, if you leave it on uh, auto, the ring will synchronize with the colors that you have on the screen, which is, at least in my opinion, a very, very cool feature, as we will see in a moment. So uh, let's get in closer. And so here we are in um, closer. As you can see, we have the um, default animation thingy going on, where uh, it shows the temperature on the liquid uh, cooling thing, I don't know. Yeah, the liquid on the uh, AIO. You can change it to uh, CPU package and whatnot, all these fans and stuff. CPU usage, I don't know, man. You can mess around with the colors and whatnot, and you can, you can do this in all the presets. Here we have a um, single bar thing. Again, we can move to a uh, CPU package to show the temperature. We have a bunch of presets, and again, although you can mess with the um, color in the ring, you can set individual LEDs to uh, different colors. If you uh, just leave it on um, default, it changes with the um, image which you, you are using or animation or whatnot. Here we have another option which is monitor. So uh, yeah, pretty much you can see the um, temperature on your AIO, the CPU package, on your GPU also, because why not? You can see CPU usage and stuff. You can uh, see the, the pump RPMs and stuff like, like that. Oh, so here we have a uh, swirl kind of thing. And again, look how the uh, ring changes. Some um, dynamic bars, because why not? A pattern. The double bar, this is the one that I find most useful. Because you can put the CPU package here. CPU's usage over here, I'm going to change it to white. And uh, now you, can, you have a uh, double bar. Uh, if you don't have a screen like, uh, like me inside your machine, you can always check your uh, CPU temperature and uh, usage. We have uh, nothing, which is always handy. Turbo, because uh, why not? And we have uh, a clock, because, uh, well, if you're one of those who needs a clock inside your machine, this is uh, an option to take in consideration, but we know why we are here, which is this option. The uh, image or uh, GIF, GIF, whatever. Corsair sends us three, three preset images. Again, look how the ring changes. You can put a picture of your Nintendo correspondent, because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> there's no real reason. You can put a picture of a guy giving you the ring finger, not the middle finger. It is the ring finger indeed. You can put a naked lady. I'm not the one to um, judge. Or we can go to uh, GIFs or GIFs. And again, Corsair sends us a um, preset uh, animation. I can use, for example, the one that I use in the intro in my videos again. Look how the ring changes with the animation itself. I think it's really cool. Or if you're one of those guys like me, who's a sucker for um, case badges, old school case badges. Let us say you want to show off some of your hardware. There you go. Just a quick animation that I just did, of course. Um, it doesn't meet the correct size of the screen, but uh, that can be fixed. This is something that I did in, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe less. And I don't think there's a limit for it. For example, this is a GIF with uh, 45 seconds animation. And it uh, just straight up worked. If you're an anime kind of guy, you can put your favorite anime in there. Like this one or a Vegeta in, um, in the rain, because why not? 
Again, do whatever you want. Now you have a um, LCD inside your computer, so you're free to do whatever you want to do. Another Vegeta, because, uh, well, I have a blue thing going on. So, uh, sure. Another one again. Uh, I'm not gonna show a bunch of them because, uh, well, you can grab anything online and uh, just put it there. There you go, some Pikachu. I really enjoy this animation. Again, in the ring, I keep saying that the ring is cool because I really think it is. You can see on the uh, Corsair software how it changes and it matches the uh, real life uh, imagery. Or we can put some Naruto doing what I think is a Rasengan, uh, so I believe. So yeah, there you go. The um, IQ uh, Elite uh, LCD upgrade kit. A uh, monitor screen LCD thing inside uh, your machine. Well, is it cool? Yes, it is. Uh, but uh, there's a few things that I have to say. Let's start with the bed, which is the mounting mechanism instructions in a lack of a better word. Corsair's manual, which is a video tutorial thing, is just a straight up lie, because it is. You just don't remove one pump cap, let's call it that, and put the other. No, because it bangs against the... Um, bracket on the CPU, so I believe there is too much plastic in there. It is not a proper fit, so uh, installation is terrible. And for something in this price category, because this costs 100 bucks, 100 dollars or 100 euros, it's 100, so um, you would expect some um, premium stuff from uh, start to finish. Not only does the kit itself don't feel premium, it's um, mainly plastic and um, doesn't feel like a very good one. The installation is a nightmare, so um, thumb down for uh, Corsair. Again, something in this price category, this shouldn't happen. Installation is just terrible from start to finish, I don't like it, so uh, yeah. As for how it works, as long as you have your um, AIO's firmware uh, up to date, Installation is a breeze. Installation, and meaning I'm talking about software. And uh, it's just uh, straight up works. You can uh, fire your uh, software uh, from Corsair and there it is. You can start messing around with some presets and some images or animations and stuff. And again, the ring thing around it is a nice touch, which I uh, really, really enjoy. So, a thumbs up for Corsair in that department, is it worth it? 100 of your euros or dollars? Well, uh, I'm not the one to judge. I uh, usually don't talk about, about prices and I'm um, not going to start now. It is up to you. $100 is a lot of money for most of us. So um, you do what you want to do if you, uh, if you want a screen inside your machine and you're willing to pay that amount of money. Sure, if you say, um, it is too expensive, I completely understand, and I also say, sure, so uh, yeah, there you go. A quick video on the IQ Elite LCD upgrade kit, it is in there, it's a screen inside your machine, and you can have some fun with it, because I believe it's, uh, it's what it is, it's just to have some fun, it has nothing to do with performance and stuff, it's just style and, uh, I don't know, having some, la some laughs with it. I've already sent uh, some friends some uh, pictures of uh, their faces in there. So, <laughs> again, just uh, have fun. If you enjoyed this video, if you had fun, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because your support is always very much appreciated. You can follow me on social media if you want to, because social media um, is here, everywhere. So, uh, if you want to do it, sure. If you don't want to do it, that's fine by me also. So uh, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching this quick thing on an LCD. And until my next video, please do take care.